In this world. As you know there are a lot of reports exist and are created maybe every minute. We never know. But every report should have a proper design and understanding. Today we will see the different design methods and features like adding gradient colors, visuals with no sliders, labeling and formatting, interacting visuals and many more. So, stay with me till the end to understand these techniques. Welcome to Data Mualim. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for more interesting videos. Combining colors is usually a good recipe for success, and using gradients is like taking it to the next level. Here we can see the difference between a normal color background and with gradient color in the cards. So let us see how we can implement the same. Go to PowerPoint and insert a shape whichever we like. Let me select a rectangle. By right-clicking and selecting Format, we will get the options on the right side of the screen. Select Gradient Fills and defines the colors for the color points. We can select the color based on our layouts. Similarly for the second color point as well. We can adjust the color shades by simply doing this. We can set an angle for the gradient color for different transitions. Next is the borderline, select as, no line. Let us save this shape as an image file. Now let us go back to Power BI and insert this image. Set the scaling to fit and format the image size in the general properties and position it accordingly. By using the selection feature, we can move forward with this image and align it on top of the background image. In the same way, we can do it for all other cards as well. Next is the top end row in a visual. A good design should never have a slider in the report visuals. So how to avoid this? The answer is just by using the top end filter. In this example, I have created an already formatted and aligned the chart on the right side with a details button. And the left is not a formatted chart. So let us fix this one. Click on filters and select the column for which we need the top end filter and then just change the basic filtering to top end. Here we need to specify the count and the value which defines the top rows. And then apply the filter. Now, what if we need to see all the rows with details? Create a page with all the required columns and add that to the button to navigate there when clicked by the user. Add a blank button from the insert menu and then format the button. Now just enable the action and select the page navigation to the details page. Also, edit the title and add the top 10, as the user should not be confused. Now let us move to the next one. Having a proper label for the visual is very necessary for the user to understand the report. In this example, we will see how to format the first default visual as per the second one which is having proper labels and is also formatted properly. First, rename the column names properly. Double-click and rename according to the camel cases format. Then change the font, font size, color, and set the max area height to a minimum and also disable the concatenate labels. We also don't need the title on both axes. Similarly, do the changes in the y-axis as well. Gridlines will give a good look, so let us keep it enabled. 
Next change the column colors and spacing of the columns. Spacing is very important for the visibility of each column. Set minimum category width to 100px. Enable data labels and format the value font and color. Next is the area background, select the image and there we go. Just format the title and we are done. Next are the interactions between the visuals. We should always avoid unnecessary interactions between the visuals, which will also affect the report's performance. For doing this, just select the visual and go to the format menu and select edit interactions. And here we can see two options on all the visuals either to filter or none. So currently everything is filtered, but I have one visual that I don't want to filter out based on the city. For that, we need to disable the filter and select the None option. And here we can see the visual is not filtering based on the city slicer. Next are the sync slicers. Sync slicers provide great functionality by syncing one slicer to all pages of a report. Suppose we need slicers on one page and should also filter the other pages, then use this feature. First, go to View and enable the Sync Slicers option. Here we can see that we have two options one to sync and another to show the filter on the page. If I am disabling the sync option the slicer will not work on the other page, as we can see here in this example. And once we enable it back, the slicer syncs on both pages. These are a few of the design tips and techniques which we can use in our reports or the dashboards. Stay tuned and subscribe for more exciting videos. Also, comment below on which topic you would like to see my next video. Hope you like this video, if you have, please click on the like button. Thanks for watching.